Venus Ebony Star Williams, born June 17, 1980, is an American professional tennis player. A former world no. One in both singles and doubles. Williams has won seven Grand Slam singles titles. Five at Wimbledon and two at the U.S. Open. She is widely regarded as one of the all-time greats of the sport, along with her younger sister, Serena Williams. Venus Williams was coached by her parents Auracine Price and Richard Williams turning professional. In 1994, she reached her first major final at the 1997 U.S. Open. In 2000 and 2001, Williams claimed the Wimbledon and U.S. Open titles, as well as Olympic singles gold at the 2000 Sydney Olympics. She first reached the singles world no. 1 ranking on 25 February 2002, becoming the first African-American woman to do so in the Open era, and the second of all time after Althea Gibson. She reached four consecutive major finals between 2002 and 2003, but lost each time to Serena. She then suffered from injuries, winning just one major title between 2003 and 2006. Williams returned to form starting in 2007, when she won Wimbledon, a feat she repeated the following year. In 2010, she returned to the world no. 2 position in singles, but then suffered again from injuries. Starting in 2014, she again gradually returned to form, culminating in two major final appearances at the Australian Open and Wimbledon in 2017. Along with her seven singles major titles, Williams has also won 14 women's doubles major titles all partnering Serena. The pair is unbeaten in Grand Slam doubles finals. She became the world no. One in doubles for the first time on June 7, 2010, alongside Serena, after the pair completed a non-calendar year Grand Slam at the French Open. The pair also won three Olympic gold medals in women's doubles. In 2000, 2008, and 2012, adding to Venus singles gold in 2000 and her mixed doubles silver in 2016. Williams has also won two mixed doubles major titles, both in 1998. The Williams sisters are credited with ushering in a new era of power and athleticism on the women's professional tennis tour, with 49 WTA tour singles titles. Williams trails only her sister Serena among active players with the most singles titles. With 22 WTA doubles titles and two mixed doubles titles. Her combined total of 73 WTA titles is also second among active players behind Serena. She is also one of only two active players to have reached the singles finals of all four majors. Along with Serena, Williams was twice the season prize money leader in 2001 and 2017, and ranks second behind Serena in all-time career prize money winnings, having earned over US$42 million as of March 2022. Early life, Williams was born in Linwood, California, to Richard Williams and Auracine Price. Her talents were apparent at the age of seven when a professional local tennis player named Tony Chester spotted Williams and quickly identified her potential in the sport. The Williams family moved from Compton, California, to West Palm Beach, Florida, when she was 13, so that she and her sister Serena could attend the tennis academy of Rick McGee who took notice of the sisters and who would provide additional coaching. He did not always agree with William's father but respected that he treated his daughters like kids, allowed them to be little girls. 
Richard stopped sending his daughters to national junior tennis tournaments when Williams was 11. Since he wanted him to take it slowly and focus on schoolwork. Another motivation was racial. As he had allegedly heard parents of other players disparage the Williams sisters during tournaments. At that time, Williams held a 63-0 record on the United States Tennis Association Junior Tour and was ranked no. 1 among the under-12 players in Southern California. In 1995, Richard pulled his daughters out of Matchy's Academy and from then on took over all coaching at their home. Playing style. Williams is an aggressive player. With an all-court game. Due to her assertive playing style. She typically accumulates large numbers of both winners and unforced errors. She possesses powerful ground strokes on both sides. And is capable of hitting both her forehand and backhand flat. And with topspin. She is also adept at hitting her backhand with slice to slow down rallies and disrupt pace within rallies. Her serve is powerful, allowing her to serve numerous aces in any match. At the peak of her career, her first serve would average 182 kilometers per hour, 113 miles per hour and would frequently peak at 199 kilometers per hour 124 miles per hour her serve has slowed since then averaging 172 kilometers per hour 107 miles per hour and peaking at 189 kilometers per hour 117 miles per hour she possesses effective kick and slice serves which she deploys as second serves, preventing opponents from scoring free points. Up to 2014, she held the record for the fastest serve on the WTA Tour, recorded at the 2007 US Open, at 208 km per hour, 129 miles per hour. She likes to approach the net and finish points quickly. Her height, at 6 feet 1 in, 1.85 meters, provides her with a long arm span, allowing her to reach difficult returns while positioned at the net. She has a repertoire of shots to perform at the net, which leads to many one points, due to her all-court game. Williams can hit winners from any position. An exceptional tactical player with remarkable problem-solving skills. She also plays with sheer power and aggression. She relies on defense infrequently. Rarely hitting drop shots and lobs. As her exceptional speed and court coverage allow her to hit with assertive power and strength from frequently defensive positions. Further strengths include her detailed and intricate footwork and supreme athleticism. She has been noted for her elegant style of play, and she prefers to play on fast grass, hard, and carpet courts. Professional career, 1994-96, professional debut. Williams turned professional on October 31, 1994, at the age of 14, in the first round of the tournament. Venus played former NCAA singles champion Sean Stafford, who earlier that year had reached the fourth round of the French Open. Williams beat her fellow American 6-3, 6-4, in the second round of her first professional tournament, the Bank of the West Classic in Oakland. Williams was up a set and a service break against World No. To Arantxa Sanchez Vicario before losing the match. Vicario went on to win the title by defeating Martina Navratilova. That was the only tournament Williams played in 1994. In 1995, Williams played three more events as a wild card. Falling in the first round of the tournament in Los Angeles and the tournament in Toronto but 
reaching the quarterfinals of the tournament in Oakland. Defeating No. 18 Amy Frazier in the second round for her first win over a top 20 ranked player before losing to Magdalena Marleva. Williams played five events in 1996, falling in the first round four times but reaching the third round in Los Angeles before losing to No. 1 Steffi Graf. 1997 99, early success. 1997, debut Grand Slam singles final. Williams played 15 tour events in 1997, including five Tier 1 tournaments. She reached the quarterfinals in three of the Tier 1 events, the State Farm Everett Cup in Compton, California, the European Indoor Championships in Zurich, and the Kremlin Cup in Moscow. In Indian Wells in March, Williams defeated No. 9 Eva Majoli in the third round for her first win over a player ranked in the top 10. She then lost in the quarterfinals to No. 8 Lindsay Davenport in a third set tiebreak. Her ranking broke into the top 100 on April 14, 1997. She made her debut in the main draw of a Grand Slam tournament at the French Open, reaching the second round before losing to Natalie Tausiat. She then lost in the first round of Wimbledon to Magdalena Grybowska. During her debut at the U.S. Open, she lost the final to Martina Hingis after defeating Irina Spurley in a semi-final which saw Spurley and Williams collide during a changeover when neither would yield as they passed the umpire's chair. Richard Williams, her father, later claimed that this incident was racially motivated. She was the first woman since Pam Shriver in 1978 to reach a U.S. Open singles final on her first attempt and was the first unseeded U.S. Open women's singles finalist since 1958. On September 8, 1997, her ranking broke into the top 50 for the first time. She ended the year ranked No. 22. 1998 to 1 Street WTA singles title. Entering the top 10 and first Grand Slam doubles titles. In her debut at the Australian Open. Williams defeated younger sister Serena Williams in the second round, which was the sister's first professional meeting. Williams eventually lost in the quarterfinals to No. 3 Davenport. Three weeks later, Williams defeated No. 2 Davenport for the first time in the semi-finals of the Eager Tennis Classic in Oklahoma City. Williams then defeated Joannette Kruger in the final to win the first singles title of her career. In her first Tier 1 event of the year, Williams lost in the semi-finals of the State Farm Everett Cup in Indian Wells to No. 1 Hingis. The following week, Williams won the Tier 1 Lipton International Players' Championships in Key Biscayne, Florida, defeating No. One Hingis in the semi-finals. On March 30, 1998, her ranking broke into the top 10 for the first time. At no. 10, Williams played only one tournament on clay before the 1998 French Open. At the Italian Open in Rome, she defeated her sister in the quarterfinals and no. 5 Sanchez Vicario in the semi-finals before losing to No. 1 Hingis in the final. She lost again to Hingis in the quarter-finals of the French Open. She lost her first match at the Direct Line International Championships in Eastbourne on Grass. Before losing to No. 3 and eventual champion Jana Novotnor in the quarter-finals of Wimbledon. On July 27. 1998. Her ranking rose to no. 5. Williams played three tournaments during the North American 1998 summer hardcourt season. She reached her fifth final of the year at the Bank of the West Classic in Stanford. 
California. Defeating No. 6 Monica Selish in the semi-finals before losing to No. 1 Davenport. Patella tendonitis in her left knee caused her to retire from her quarterfinal match at the tournament in San Diego while trailing Mary Pierce 4-0 in the third set. At the U.S. Open, Williams defeated fourth-seeded Sanchez Vicario in the quarterfinals before losing to second-seeded and eventual champion Davenport in the semifinals. 1998 was the first year that Williams reached at least the quarterfinals of all slams. Williams played four tournaments in the remainder of 1998. She won her third title of the year at the Grand Slam Cup in Munich in September. Defeating No. 9 Patty Schneider in the final. She lost in the second round of the Porsche Tennis Grand Prix in Fildestadt before losing in the Final of the Tier 1 Swisscom Challenge in Zurich to No. 1 Davenport and the semi-finals of the Tier 1 Kremlin Cup in Moscow to Pierce. She had earned enough points during the year to participate in the year-ending chase championship. But withdrew from the tournament because of tendonitis in her knee. She finished the year ranked No. 5. In 1998. Williams teamed with Justin Gimmelstob to win the mixed doubles titles at the Australian Open and the French Open. Her sister Serena Williams won the other two Grand Slam mixed doubles titles that year, completing a Williams family mixed doubles Grand Slam. Williams won the first two women's doubles titles of her career in Oklahoma City and Zurich. Both titles came with her sister, becoming only the third pair of sisters to win a WTA Tour doubles title. 1999, three Tier 1 titles. Williams started the 1999 Tour in Australia, where she lost to No. 10 Steffi Graf in the quarterfinals of the Medibank International in Sydney and No. Won Davenport in the quarterfinals of the Australian Open. However, she rebounded at the Faber Grand Prix in Hanover, defeating Graf for the first time in the semi finals before losing the final to No. 3 Novotnor. Williams then successfully defended her titles in both Oklahoma City and Key Biscayne. She defeated Novotnor and Graf to reach the final in Key Biscayne where she defeated her sister in three sets in the first final on the WTA Tour to be contested by two sisters. Williams played four clay court events during the spring. She lost her first match at the Bausch & Loam Championships in Amelia Island, Florida. Three weeks later, however, she won her first title on clay at the Betty Barkley Cup in Hamburg. Defeating Mary Pierce in the final. Williams then won the Tier 1 Italian Open in Rome. Defeating No. 1 Hingis in the semi-finals and No. 8 Pierce in the final. At the French Open. She extended her winning streak to 22 matches before losing in the fourth round to No. 125 Barbara Schwartz. Williams teamed with Serena Williams to win the women's doubles title at this event. The first Grand Slam title the pair won together. At the 1999 Wimbledon Championships, Williams defeated No. 17 Anna Kornikova in the fourth round to reach the quarterfinals for the second consecutive year, where she lost to eventual runner-up Graf. Williams rebounded in the summer when she won two Fed Cup matches against Italy and lost in the final of the Bank of the West Classic in Stanford to No. 1 Davenport. One week later, Williams defeated Davenport in the semi-finals of the TIG Tennis Classic in San Diego before losing to No. 2 Hingis in the final. In her last tournament before the U.S. Open. Williams won the Pilot Pen Tennis in New Haven, Connecticut, defeating No. 
5 Selish in the semi-finals and Davenport in the final. On August 30, 1999, her world ranking reached third for the first time. Seeded third at the U.S. Open. Williams lost in the semi-finals to no. One Hingis in three sets. However, she teamed with singles champion Serena Williams at this event to win their second Grand Slam. Women's doubles title. During the remainder of the year, Williams contributed to the USA's victory over Russia in the Fed Cup final. Winning one singles rubber before joining her sister to win the doubles rubber. At the Grand Slam Cup in Munich, Williams defeated Hingis in the semi-finals before losing to her sister Serena for the first time in the final. Williams won her sixth title of the year at the Tier 1 event in Zurich. Defeating No. 1 Hingis in the final. Four weeks later. She lost to Davenport in the semi-finals of the tournament in Philadelphia, making her debut at the year-ending chase championships. Williams lost to Hingis in the semi-finals. She finished the year ranked no. 3. 2000-02. Williams sisters domination. 2000. Olympic gold medals and first and second Grand Slam titles. In 2000, Williams missed the first five months of the year with tendonitis in both wrists. She returned to the tour during the European clay court season. She lost in the quarterfinals of the Betty Barkley Cup in Hamburg to Amanda Kurtzer and in the third round of the Tier 1 Italian Open in Rome to Jelena Dokic. Although she had won only two of her four matches before the French Open. She was seeded fourth there. She won her first four matches in Paris without losing a set before losing in the quarterfinals to eighth seeded and former champion Arantxa Sanchez Vicario in three sets. Williams then won 35 consecutive singles matches and six tournaments. She won her first Grand Slam singles title at Wimbledon, defeating No. Won Martina Hingis in the quarterfinals. Sister Serena in the semi-final and defending champion Lindsay Davenport in the final. She also teamed with her sister Serena to win the women's doubles title at this event. She won three Tier 2 events during the North American summer hardcourt season. Defeating Davenport in the final of the Bank of the West Classic in Stanford and Monica Selish in. The finals of both the Acura Classic in San Diego and the Pilot Pen Tennis Championships in New Haven. At the U.S. Open, Williams defeated No. 1 Hingis in the semi-finals and No. 2 Davenport in the final. At the 2000 Summer Olympics in Sydney, she defeated Sanchez Vicario in the quarterfinals. Selish in the semi-finals and Elena Dementieva in the final to win the gold medal. She also won the gold medal in women's doubles with her younger sister Serena. Davenport eventually snapped her winning streak in October in the final of the Lintz Open. Williams did not play a tournament the rest of the year because of anemia. She finished the year ranked no. 3 and with 6 singles titles. 2001-3 road and fourth Grand Slam titles. In 2001, Williams reached the semi-finals of the Australian Open for the first time, where she lost to no. 1 Hingis. However, Williams teamed with her sister to win the doubles title at the event, completing a career Golden Slam in women's doubles for the pair. Williams also reached the semi-finals of the Tier 1 Tennis Masters Series Tournament in Indian Wells, California, where she controversially defaulted her match with her sister just before the match started. Williams had been suffering from knee tendonitis throughout the tournament and eventually this prevented her from playing. The following day, 
Williams and her father Richard were booed as they made their way to their seats to watch the final. Serena Williams was subsequently booed during the final with Kim Kleisters and during the trophy presentation. Due to this, neither Williams' sister entered the tournament for 14 years, with her sister Serena entering in 2015 after appeals for forgiveness from the event and the WTA. Tour. Williams rebounded from the Indian Wells boycott controversy to win the next tournament on the tour calendar. The Tier 1 Ericsson Open in Key Biscayne, Florida. She defeated Hingis in the semi-finals and no. 4 Jennifer Capriati in the final. After saving 8 championship points. Because of this victory, her ranking rose to a career high of no. 2. During the European clay court season. Williams won the Tier 2 tournament in Hamburg but lost in the third round of the Tier 1 Eurocard. Ladies German Open to no. 18 Justine Henin and the first round of the French Open to Barbara Schett. This was only the second time that she had lost in the first round of a Grand Slam singles tournament. Williams then successfully defended her Wimbledon title, defeating third-seeded Davenport in the semi-finals and eighth-seeded Henin in three sets in Henin's first Wimbledon final. During the North American summer hard court season, Williams won for the second consecutive year the tournaments in San Diego, defeating Selish in the final, and in New Haven, defeating Davenport in the final. Williams also won the U.S. Open singles title for the second consecutive year, without dropping the set, in the quarterfinals. She beat fifth-seeded Kleisters, followed by a semi-final victory over No. 2 Capriati. She played her sister Serena in the final, which was the first Grand Slam singles final contested by two sisters during the Open era. Venus won the match and her fourth Grand Slam singles title. Williams also became only the sixth woman in history to win the singles titles at both Wimbledon and the U.S. Open in consecutive years. The others being Martina Navratilova. Twice. Steffi Graf. Twice. Althea Gibson. Maureen Connolly Brinker. And Helen Wills Moody. Twice. 2002. World No. One ranking and four consecutive Grand Slam singles finals. Williams began 2002 by winning the Mondial Australian Women's Hardcourts in Gold Coast, Australia, defeating Henin in the final. However, she then lost for the first time in her career to Selish in the quarterfinals of the Australian Open. Williams then went on to win the Open Gaz de France in Paris when Jelena Dokic withdrew from the final and the Proximus Diamond Games in Antwerp, Belgium, defeating Henin in the final. As a result of her strong start to the season, Williams assumed the world no. One position for the first time on February 25th. Dislodging Capriati, Williams was the first African-American woman ever to hold the ranking. She held it for just three weeks before surrendering it back to Capriati. Williams failed to defend her title in Miami after losing in the semi-finals to her sister Serena. However, she made a strong start to the clay court season, winning the Bausch and Loam Championships in Amelia Island. Florida, defeating Henin in the final. A week after winning that tournament, she once again replaced Capriati as the no. 1. Before losing it again to Capriati after three weeks. During those three weeks, Williams had made the final in Hamburg, defeating Hingis in the semi finals before losing to Kleisters in the final. Seeded second at the French Open. Williams defeated former champion Selish to reach the semi-finals for the first time. There, 
she defeated Clarissa Fernande in the final. Williams met her sister Serena Williams for a second time in a Grand Slam final. With her sister winning, Williams once again replaced Capriati as the no. One as a result of reaching the final. As the top seed at Wimbledon, Williams defeated Henin in the semi-finals to make the final for the third consecutive year. However, there, she lost to her sister Serena. This result meant Serena Williams replaced Venus as the no. 1. The Williams sisters teamed up to win the women's doubles title at the event. Their fifth Grand Slam women's doubles title together. Williams won the titles in San Diego and New Haven for the third consecutive year. Defeating Davenport and Dokic to win the former and defeating Davenport in the final of the latter. At the U.S. Open, Williams defeated Selish in the quarterfinals and Amelie Moresmo in three sets to make the final. Playing her younger sister Serena for their third consecutive Grand Slam final. Her sister won once again. After that, Williams played just four more matches during the season. She reached the semi-finals at the year-ending Sanex Championships after defeating Selish in the quarterfinals. But she then was forced to retire against Kleisters due to injury. Williams finished the year ranked no. 2 having won seven titles. Her best showing in both respects of her career. 2003-06. Injuries and losses. 2003. Australian Open and Wimbledon Finals. Injuries. Williams started 2003 by defeating fifth seed Justine Hennin to make the final of the Australian. Open for the first time. In the final. However. She lost to her sister Serena. This marked the first time in the Open era that the same two players had met in four consecutive Grand Slam finals. Venus and Serena Williams teamed to win the women's doubles title at the event. Their sixth Grand Slam title in women's doubles. In February, Williams won the Proximus Diamond Games in Antwerp, Belgium for the second consecutive year. Defeating Kim Kleisters in the final. However, shortly afterwards, she began to struggle with injury. She reached the final of the Clay Court J and S Cup in Warsaw. Before being forced to retire against Amelie Moresmo. She then suffered her earliest exit at a Grand Slam tournament in two years when she lost in the fourth round of the French Open to Vera Svonareva. At Wimbledon, Williams was seeded fourth. Williams defeated former champion Lindsay Davenport in the quarterfinals and Kim Kleisters in the semifinals to advance to her fourth consecutive Wimbledon final, where she lost again to sister Serena. Wimbledon was Williams's last event of the year as an abdominal injury that occurred during the Kleisters match prevented her from playing again. While she was recovering from the injury, her sister Yatunde Price was murdered. Williams finished the year ranked no. 11. It was the first time in nearly six years that she had dropped out of the top 10. 2004. Tough losses and further injuries. In 2004, Williams came back to the tour suffering inconsistent results. As the third seed because of a protected ranking. She reached the third round of the Australian Open. Where she lost to Lisa Raymond. She then lost in the quarterfinals of her next three tournaments. Williams began to find her form at the beginning of the clay court season. At the Tier 1 Family Circle Cup in Charleston. South Carolina. Williams defeated Conchita Martinez in the final to win her first title in over a year and the second tier one title on clay of her career. She then won in Warsaw, defeating Svetlana Kuznetsova in the final, before reaching the final of the tier one German Open in Berlin.
she then withdrew from that match against Moresmo due to injury. Going into the French Open, Williams had the best clay court record among the women and was among the favorites to win the title. However, after making the quarterfinals to extend her winning streak on the surface to 19 matches, she lost to eventual champion Anastasia Myskina. Despite her defeat, she re entered the top 10 in the Wimbledon women's singles. Williams lost a controversial second round match to Croatian Carolina Sprem. The umpire of the match, Ted Watts, awarded Sprem an unearned point in the second set tiebreak. Upon the conclusion of the match, he was relieved of his duties. This defeat marked the first time since 1997 that Williams had exited Wimbledon prior to the quarterfinals. After Wimbledon, Williams reached her fourth final of the year at the Bank of the West Classic in Stanford, California, where she was beaten by Lindsay Davenport for the first time since 2000. As the defending champion at the Athens Olympics, Williams lost in the third round to Mary Pierce. She then won three very close matches against Petra Mandula. Shika Uberoy and Chanda Rubin to make the fourth round of the U.S. Open where she lost to Davenport. The first time she had ever lost at the U.S. Open prior to the semifinals. Williams completed the year by losing in the quarterfinals of three indoor tournaments in the fall. A period that included defeat in her first meeting with 17-year-old Wimbledon champion Maria. Sharapova at the Zurich Open. Williams finished the year as no. 9 and did not qualify for the year-ending WTA Tour Championships. 2005. Third Wimbledon title. In 2005, Williams started the year by losing in the fourth round of the Australian Open to Alicia Mollick. She then reached the final in Antwerp defeating Kleisters and Myskina en route. In the final, Williams was a set and a service breakup against Moresmo before eventually losing. In March, at the Nasdaq 100 Open in Miami, Williams defeated sister and Australian Open champion Serena Williams in the quarterfinals. The first time she had defeated her sister Serena since 2001. Williams went on to lose in the semi-finals to No. 3 Sharapova. In May, Williams won her first title in over a year at the clay courts at the Istanbul Cup, defeating Nicole Vydasova in the final. However, at the French Open, she lost in the third round to 15-year-old Cecil Karatancheva, who subsequently tested positive for steroids and was suspended. Williams was seeded 14th for the 2005 Wimbledon Championships, women's singles. In the quarterfinals of the tournament, she defeated French Open runner-up Pierce in a second set tiebreak, winning it 12-10 to make the semi-finals of a Grand Slam for the first time in two years. There. She defeated defending champion and second-seeded Maria Sharapova to make the Wimbledon final for the fifth time in six years, playing top-seeded Davenport in the final. Williams saved a match point with a backhand winner en route to winning. This was Williams's third Wimbledon singles title, her fifth Grand Slam singles title overall and her first since 2001. It was the first time in 70 years that a player had won after being down match point during the women's final at Wimbledon. In addition, Williams was the lowest ranked, no, 16, and lowest seeded, 14th, champion in tournament history. Williams returned to the top 10 following the victory. Following Wimbledon. Williams reached her fourth final of the year in Stanford, where she lost to Kleisters. At the U.S. Open, 
Williams achieved her second consecutive win over her sister Serena in the fourth round, but then lost in the quarterfinals to eventual champion Kim Kleisters. Williams did not qualify for the year-ending Sony Ericsson Championships because of an injury sustained during the tournament in Beijing. She finished the year ranked no. 10. It was the first year since 2001 that she had finished a year ranked higher than her sister Serena. Williams. 2006. Wrist injury and drop in the rankings. In 2006. Williams was upset in the first round of the Australian Open by Svetana Pirinkova, which was her earliest loss ever at that tournament. After that loss, she did not play again for three months due to a wrist injury. She returned in late April on clay in Warsaw, where she defeated former No. 1 Martina Hingis in the second round before losing to Svetlana Kuznetsova in the quarterfinals. Williams completed the clay court season by reaching the quarterfinals of the French Open, where she lost to Nicole Vydasova. Williams was the defending champion and one of the favorites to win the singles title at Wimbledon. However, she lost in the third round to 26th-seeded Jelena Jankovic. After the loss, Williams said that she was having pain in her left wrist, although she admitted that the injury was not the cause of her loss. Williams did not play in the U.S. Open series or the U.S. Open itself due to the wrist injury. In October, during her first tournament in almost three months, she re-injured her wrist at the tournament in Luxembourg and lost in the second round to qualifier. Agnieszka Radvanska. Williams finished the season as no. 46. Her lowest finish since she began to play on the WTA Tour full-time in 1997. It was the second consecutive year she finished higher than her sister Serena. Who finished the year at no. 95. 2007-10. Return to form and no. 2 ranking. 2007. Fourth Wimbledon title. Williams withdrew from the 2007 Australian Open. The second consecutive Grand Slam that she had missed due to her recurring wrist injury. She returned in February at the Cellular South Cup in Memphis, USA. Defeating top-seeded Shaha Pair in the final. Her first singles title since her victory at Wimbledon in 2005. At the beginning of the clay court season, Williams reached the semi-finals of the Tier 1 Family Circle Cup in Charleston, South Carolina, where she lost to Jelena Jankovic on a third set tiebreak. She also lost to fourth seed Jankovic in the third round of the French Open. Her third consecutive loss to Jankovic. During her second round win over Ashley Harkle Road, Williams hit a 206 km per hour, 128 miles per hour serve, which was the second fastest woman's serve ever recorded and the fastest ever recorded during the main draw match at the time. Williams was ranked no. 31 going into Wimbledon and was seeded 23rd at the tournament due to her previous results at Wimbledon. Williams was a game away from defeat in her first round match against Ala Kudryavtseva and in her third round match against Akiko Morigami she was two points away from defeat. But she eventually won both 7-5 in the third set. She then advanced to reach her sixth Wimbledon final. After beating Maria Sharapova, Svetlana Kuznetsova and Anna Ivanovic in straight sets en route. Where she defeated 18th seed Marian Bartoli also in straight sets. Williams thus became only the fourth woman in the Open era to win Wimbledon at least four times. Along with Billie Jean King. Martina Navratilova and Steffi Graf. 
she also became the lowest seeded Wimbledon champion in history, breaking the record she herself set in 2005. Williams returned to the top 20 as a result of the win at the U.S. Open. After setting a Grand Slam record 129 miles per hour, 208 kilometers per hour, serve in the opening round, Williams advanced to her first Grand Slam semi-final outside of Wimbledon since 2003. However she then lost to eventual champion Justine Henin. The tournament resulted in Williams's ranking moving up to no. 9. Williams then won her third title of the year at the Hansel Korea Open Tennis Championships in Seoul, South Korea, defeating Maria Kirilenko in the final, before then losing in the final of the Japan Open Tennis Championships in Tokyo to Virginie Razzano. Williams had earned enough points during the year to qualify for the year-ending WTA Tour Championships in Madrid. However, she withdrew because of continuing problems with anemia. Williams finished the year as no. 8 with three titles. Her best performance in both respects since 2002. And a winning percentage of 83%. 2008. Fifth Wimbledon title. Tour Championships title and Olympic gold in doubles. In 2008. As the eighth seed at the Australian Open, Williams reached the quarterfinals for the first time since 2003. However, she then lost to eventual runner-up Anna Ivanovic. Williams made her first semi-final of the year at the Bangalore Open in Bangalore, India, where she met sister Serena for the first time since 2005 with Serena Williams winning despite Venus Williams holding a match point in the third set tie break. Williams missed two tournaments at the beginning of the clay court season due to undisclosed medical problems at the French Open. Williams was seeded eighth but was eliminated by 26th seeded Italian Flavia Pennetta in the third round. Williams was the defending champion and seventh seeded player at Wimbledon. Without dropping the set, she reached her seventh Wimbledon singles final. She then won her fifth Wimbledon singles title and seventh Grand Slam singles title overall by beating Sister Serena in straight sets. This was the first time since 2003 that Venus and Serena Williams had played each other in a grand. Slam final and was the first time since 2001 that Venus had defeated her in a Grand Slam final. Venus and Serena Williams then teamed to win the women's doubles title. Their first Grand Slam doubles title together since 2003. Williams lost in the quarterfinals of the Beijing Olympics to Lee N.A. She did. However. Earn a gold medal along with her sister Serena in women's doubles. Their second gold medal as a team. Having won together at the Sydney Olympics in 2000. At the US Open. Williams was playing some of her best tennis since dominating the circuit in 2003. However. She was defeated in two tie breaks by Serena Williams. The eventual tournament winner. In a close quarter-final match. After Williams had led 5-3 in both sets. At the Porsche Tennis Grand Prix in Stuttgart. Germany in October. Williams defeated a player ranked in the top three for the first time that season by defeating No. 3 Dinara Safina to reach her third semi-final of the year. There. She lost to Jankovic. A fortnight later. Williams won the Zurich Open, defeating Ivanovic in the semi-finals before defeating Penetta in the final to claim her second title of the year and secure a position in the year ending 2008 WTA Tour Championships in Doha, Qatar. There, Williams defeated No. 2 Safina, No. 3 Serena Williams and No. 
5 Dementieva in the preliminary round robin stage. In the semi finals, Williams defeated No. 1 Yankovic before winning the year ending tournament for the first time by defeating Vera Svonareva. In the final, she ended the year ranked No. 6 with three titles and a winning percentage of 78%. 2009. Wimbledon runner-up and four consecutive Grand Slam doubles titles. As the sixth seed at the 2009 Australian Open. Williams lost in the second round to Carla Suarez Navarro after holding a match point in the third set. However, she teamed up with her sister Serena to win the women's doubles title at the event. Their eighth Grand Slam doubles title together. Williams rebounded in singles play in February at the Premier 5. Formerly Tier 1. Dubai Tennis Championships. Defeating defending champion and no. 4 Dementieva in the quarterfinals and no. 1 Serena Williams in the semi-finals on a third set tiebreak. The latter win meant that Williams led the head-to-head -head in career matches with her sister for the first time since 2002. Williams went on to defeat Virginie Razzano in the final. This win meant Williams was ranked in the top five for the first time since 2003. While it also marked her 40th professional singles title. Only the 12th player in the Open era to achieve the feat. Williams won another title the following week at the Abierto Mexicano Telsal in Acapulco, Mexico, defeating Penetta in the final. This was her first title on clay since 2005. On European clay, Williams reached the semi-finals in Rome before losing to No. 1 Sifina. This run meant Williams was ranked in the top three for the first time since 2003. Seeded third at the French Open. Williams lost to Orne Save in the third round. The third consecutive year she had exited at that stage. Williams was seeded third at Wimbledon. She advanced to her eighth Wimbledon final. At which point she had won 34 straight sets. Held since Wimbledon 2007. In the final. However. She lost the first set tie break. And from then on lost in two sets to sister Serena. The Williams sisters teamed up to win the doubles title at the tournament for the fourth time. In Stanford. Williams defeated Maria Sharapova and Elena Dementieva to advance to the finals where she would lose to Marion Bartoli. Teaming with her sister, she played doubles and won the title, defeating Monica Niculescu and Jung Jan Chan at the 2009 US Open. As the third seed, Williams made it to the fourth round before losing to Kim Kleisters in three sets. Williams then teamed up with Serena Williams to play doubles at the Open where they won the title over defending champions and no ones in doubles. Kara Black and Liesel Huber, claiming their third Grand Slam doubles title in 2009. Williams's last tournament in 2009 was the year-ending Sony Ericsson Championships, where she was the defending champion in singles. She was in the Maroon group which includes her sister Serena Williams. Along with Elena Dementieva and Svetlana Kuznetsova. She lost her first match against Dementieva. And her second match against her sister Serena both in straight sets. After taking the first set. In her third and final RR match. Williams defeated Svetlana Kuznetsova. Because of Dementieva's loss to Kuznetsova in their round-robin match, Williams advanced to the semi-final of the championships. In her semi-final match, she defeated Jelena Jankovic of Serbia to advance to her second consecutive final in the tournament. In the final, she lost to her sister Serena. In doubles, 
Williams teamed with her sister as the second seeds. However, they lost to Nuria Clagastera Vives and Maria Jose Martinez Sanchez in the semi final. The doubles record at the end of the year stood at 24 2. Williams finished 2009 ranked no. 6 in singles, with a winning percentage of 70%, and no. 3 in doubles with Serena Williams. In spite of them playing only six events together that year. 2010. No. Two singles ranking and no. One doubles ranking. Williams played at the Australian Open as the sixth seed. She defeated 17th seeded Francesca Schiavoni in the fourth round. She was two points from defeating 16th seeded Lee N.A. in the quarterfinals before losing in three sets. In doubles, she teamed with her sister Serena to successfully defend their title, defeating the top-ranked team of Cara Black and Lee Ezel Huber in the final. She went on to the clay at the Abierto Mexico Telsal in Acapulco, where she was the defending champion. She reached the semi-finals after recovering from a 1-5 third-set deficit to Laura Postio in the quarterfinals. In the final, she defeated first-time finalist Polona Hercog from Slovenia. This was her 43rd career title, the most among active female players. Her next tournament was the premier mandatory Sony Ericsson Open in Key Biscayne, where she was seeded third. She defeated no. 9 Agnieszka Radvanska in the quarterfinals and no. 13 Marion Bartoli in the semi finals to reach her third straight WTA Tour final and fourth Sony Ericsson Open final. She was defeated by Kim Kleisters in the final in just 58 minutes, ending her 15 match winning streak. By reaching the final, her ranking improved to no. 4 and she crossed the $26 million mark in career prize money. The only player besides Serena Williams to do so. The knee injury that hampered her during the final of the Sony Ericsson Open forced her to skip the Fed Cup tie against Russia and the Porsche Tennis Grand Prix in Stuttgart. Williams returned to the tour at the Premier 5 Internazionale BNL d'Italia in Rome. She suffered the worst defeat of her career in the quarterfinals. Losing to no. For Jelena Jankovic. Despite this loss, Williams's ranking improved to no. 3 on May 10. Her next tournament was the Madrid Open, a premier mandatory tournament. She lost to Aravain Rezai in the final. In doubles, she teamed with her sister Serena to win the title. On May 17, her ranking improved to no. 2. Behind only Serena. This was the fourth time that the Williams sisters have occupied the top two spots. And the first time since May 2003. Her next tournament was the French Open. Where she played both singles and doubles despite her knee injury. Seeded second in singles. She advanced past the third round at this tournament for the first time since 2006 before losing to. Nadia Petrova in the round of 16. She also played doubles with Serena as the top seeds. The defeat of Huber and Annabelle Medina Garrix in the semi finals increased the doubles ranking to no. 1. They then defeated 12th seeded Kaverta Peshka and Katerina Srebotnik in the final to win their fourth consecutive Grand Slam women's doubles title. By virtue of reaching the no. 1 ranking in doubles on June 7, 2010, Venus and Serena became just the 6th and 7th women to reach the no. 1 ranking in both singles and doubles following in the footsteps of Martina Navratilova, Arantxa Sanchez Vicario, Martina Hingis, Lindsay Davenport, and Kim Kleisters. Her next tournament was the Wimbledon Championships, 
where she had reached the final the previous three years. Despite her knee injury, she made it to the quarterfinals, where she lost to Svetana Pirinkova. Pirinkova was ranked no. 82 and had never gone past the second round of a Grand Slam event. As a result, Williams dropped to no. 4. She was the defending champion in doubles with her sister Serena, having won the tournament in the previous two years. However, they lost this time in the quarterfinals to Elena Vesnina and Vera Svonareva. Williams then missed all tournaments in the U.S. Open series because of a left knee injury but still participated at the U.S. Open as the third seed. She won three matches to move into the fourth round. Williams became one of only two women in 2010, along with Caroline Wozniacki, to reach at least the fourth round at all four Grand Slam singles tournaments. Williams then defeated pair and French Open champion Schiavoni en route to her eighth U.S. Open semi-final against defending champion Clisters. Williams won the first set of their match and recovered from 5-2 down in the second set but ultimately double faulted on a key point near the end of the match and lost in three sets. Because of Serena's withdrawal from the U.S. Open, Williams did not participate at the doubles event, where she was the defending champion. The recovery of her left knee took longer than expected, and it forced her to miss the rest of 2010, including the year-ending Sony Ericsson Championships and Fed Cup Final. Williams ended the year ranked fifth in singles, the first time she ended a year in the top five since 2002. While playing only nine tournaments, she finished the year ranked 11th in doubles. 2011-13, Injuries and Illness. 2011, Sjogren Syndrome Diagnosis. Williams began the year at the final edition of Hong Kong Tennis Classic Exhibition event. She lost both her singles matches against Vera Swanareva and Lee N.A. But she helped Team America to win the Silver Group. At the Australian Open, Williams retired in the second game of her third round match against Andrea Petkovic after sustaining a hip muscle injury in her second round. This was Williams's first retirement during a match in a Grand Slam tournament since 1994 and thus ended her record of most Grand Slam matches without ever retiring with 250 consecutive matches. This was also her first retirement from a match since LA Women's Tennis Championships in Los Angeles in 2004, ending her 294 consecutive matches without retiring. The injury forced Williams to pull out of the Fed Cup quarterfinal against Belgium, the Dubai Tennis Championships and the Mexican Open, where she was the two-time defending champion in both tournaments. She subsequently withdrew from the Miami Open causing her ranking to drop to number 15. She also missed the clay court season which caused her ranking to drop to number 29. Her absence from the French Open marked the first Grand Slam tournament since the 2003 US Open where neither of the Williams sisters were competing. Williams then made her first appearance since the Australian Open in Eastbourne. Unseeded, she lost for the first time in 11 meetings to Daniela Hintukova in the quarterfinals. She was seeded 23rd at the 2011 Wimbledon Championships. She played for nearly three hours in her second round match against Japanese veteran Kimiko. Date Crum, winning in three tough sets. She then defeated Spaniard Maria Jose Martinez Sanchez in the third round, but was defeated by Bulgarian 32nd seed Svetana Pirinkova in the fourth round. Originally scheduled to participate in the 2011 Rogers Cup in Toronto and the 2011 Western and Southern Open in Cincinnati, 
Williams withdrew due to viral illness. Her next scheduled tournament was the U.S. Open. Unseeded at the U.S. Open, Williams defeated Vesna Dolenz in the first round. She was scheduled to meet 22nd seed Sabine Lazicki in the second round. But withdrew before the match began after being diagnosed with Sjogren syndrome. An autoimmune disease which causes fatigue and muscle and joint pain. This was the first time in her career that she did not reach the quarterfinals or better in any of the Grand Slam tournaments in the season. As a result, her ranking dropped to 105. Williams did not play for the rest of the year at a competitive level. She appeared in three exhibitions tournaments in November and early December. She played against Sister Serena in Colombia, which she won in straight sets. The week later, the sisters appeared in Milan, Italy to play exhibition against Italian duo Francesca Schiavoni in Flavia Penetta. Williams lost both her singles tie-break matches, but won the doubles pairing with her sister. Williams played her third exhibition tournament in Barbados where she lost to Victoria Azarenka. She ended the year ranked no. 102. This was her first year end finish ranked outside of the top 50 since 1997. 2012. Comeback and Olympic gold record. Williams was scheduled to play in Auckland in preparation for the Australian Open but withdrew from both tournaments due to health problems, announcing that she would return to the WTA Tour in February. This dropped her ranking to no. 135. In February, Williams returned to competition in the doubles match of the Fed Cup World Group 2 tie between USA and Belarus, playing with Liesel Huber. She won the dead rubber in straight sets. Williams was granted wild cards to participate in the Miami and Charleston tournaments. In the first round of Miami, her first singles match since the 2011 U.S. Open, Williams defeated Japanese veteran Kimiko Date Crum in straight sets. In the second round, she defeated No. 3 Petra Kvitova. Her first top three victory since beating Svetlana Kuznetsova in 2009. In the third round, she saved a match point and defeated Alexandra Wozniak in a three-set tiebreaker that ended a nearly three-hour match. In the round of 16, she bested no. 15 Anna Ivanovich in three sets to reach the quarterfinals where she lost to the eventual champion, Agnieszka Radvanska in straight sets. Her run improved her ranking to number 87. A week later in Charleston, she reached her second consecutive quarterfinal, where she lost in three sets to Samantha Stosa. Williams was granted wild cards to participate in Madrid and Rome. In Madrid, she lost in the second round to Angelique Kerber, but still improved her ranking to no. 63. A week later in Rome, she reached her third quarterfinal of the four tournaments she had participated in with a straight sets victory against Samantha Stosa in the third round. She lost in the quarterfinals in straight sets to the no. 2. Defending and eventual champion Maria Sharapova. Her appearance in Rome increased her ranking to no. 52. Placing her as the third ranked American. She lost in the second round of the French Open to Agnieszka Radvanska in straight sets. At Wimbledon, Williams was unseeded for the first time since 1997. She lost to Elena Vesnina in the first round in straight sets. This was the first time Williams lost in the first round of a Grand Slam since the 2006 Australian Open. And her first opening round loss at Wimbledon since her debut in 1997. 
Williams fared better in her return to doubles competition where she played alongside her sister, Serena, in just the pair's first tournament since 2010 Wimbledon. The unseeded sisters advanced to the final with victories over fourth seeds Maria Kirilenko and Nadia Petrova in the second round and top seeds Lee Huber and Lisa Raymond in the semi-finals. The Williams sisters claimed their fifth Wimbledon doubles title after defeating sixth seeds Andrea Huavakova and Lucy Radica in straight sets in the final. On the same day Serena Williams won her fifth Wimbledon singles title. Williams's next stop was the 2012 London Summer Olympics which was held at the All England Club. Wimbledon. She entered the women's singles and women's doubles events. Partnering with sister Serena in doubles. In singles. Williams defeated Sarah Arani and Alexandra Wozniak in convincing fashion to reach the third round, where she faced Angelique Kerber. She lost to Kerber in two tie breaks despite having three set points and leading 5 to 1 in the tie break. In the first set, in doubles, the unseeded Williams sisters advanced to the final which was a repeat of their final at Wimbledon against Huavakova and Radica. The sisters won their third gold medal in doubles after defeating the Czech pair in straight sets. With the win, and her sister Serena's win in the singles event, the Williams sisters claimed the most Olympic gold medals of any other tennis player. Male or female. Next. Williams played at Cincinnati where she received a singles wildcard entry. She defeated her first two opponents, Maria Kirilenko and Chanel Sheepers, in three tight sets before crushing eighth seed Sarah Arani in the third round. In the quarterfinal, she defeated her second top ten opponent in a row Samantha Stosa in three sets to advance to her. First semi final since the 2010 U.S. Open. In the semi final, Williams played through a back injury, eventually losing in three sets to Lee N.A. in a match where her average first serve was between 80 and 90 miles per hour. Her semi final run brought her ranking back within the top 50 for the first time in almost a year. At the U.S. Open Williams lost in a second-round match against Angelique Kerber in three sets. Despite having a 4-2 lead in the third set, Williams won her 44th WTA career title and her first title in over two and a half years at the 2012 BGL Luxembourg Open, where she defeated Monica Niculescu in straight sets. Williams also qualified for the WTA Tournament of Champions in Sofia, but withdrew as the tournament clashed with her and her sister Serena's, breaking the mold, tour in Africa, with her title in Luxembourg. Her ranking rose to number 24. She ended the year with this ranking. 2013, back injury. At the 2013 Hopman Cup and playing for USA. With John Isner, the first rubber was against South Africa. Williams beat Chanel Sheepers and, with John Isner, they comfortably defeated the South African pair Chanel Sheepers and Kevin Anderson. In USA's second rubber against France, she won both her singles and in mixed doubles defeated Joe Wilfried Songa and Mathilde Johansson. Next she faced Annabelle Medina Garrigues of Spain and won in two sets. From there Williams went on to the Australian Open. Seeded 25. After missing it the previous year due to injury. She beat Galina Voskoboeva and Alize Cornet before losing to the second seed. Maria Sharapova. Her next tournament was Brazil Tennis Cup. She participated the tournament as the first seed. She defeated Merjana Lucic Baroni in the first round. Garbinye Muguruza in the second round and Magdalena Rybarikova during the quarterfinals.
reaching her first semi-final of the year. She was then defeated by Olga Pakova in three sets. This tournament allowed Williams to strengthen her position in the top 20. She retired from the 2013 Sony Open Tennis in the third round due to a lower back injury. One week after Miami, Williams participated in Charleston as the fifth seed. She reached the semi-finals. After playing both her third round and quarterfinals matches on the same day. Where she lost to her sister. Serena. In two sets in the sisters' first meeting since the 2009 WTA Tour Championships. A few weeks later. She participated in Fed Cup. In a tie between the United States and Sweden. After Sloane Stevens lost the opening match. Williams stepped into her spot, winning a match against Johanna Larson, after converting on her eighth match point. This was the first time in Williams's career that she clinched the winning match in a Fed Cup tie, leading the United States to a 3-2 victory over Sweden. Williams's next event was the Matua Madrid Open where she withdrew just before playing her first round match. Her next tournament was the Italian Open in Rome where she lost in the first round to Laura Robson. Williams then played at the 2013 French Open where she lost to Ursula Radvanska in the first round. She was also entered in doubles with her sister Serena, but pulled out just before their first round. Match. Williams pulled out of the 2013 Wimbledon Championships due to a back injury. It was the first time she has missed Wimbledon in her career. At the Rogers Cup, she lost in the first round to 13th seed Kirsten Flipkins in three sets. At the 2013 Western and Southern Open, she defeated qualifier Jana Sipalova in straight sets. Before losing in the second round to Elena Vesnina in three sets. Her next tournament was the 2013 U.S. Open. She pulled an upset in the first round by defeating 12th seed Kirsten Flipkins in a rematch of the Rogers Cup first round. She was defeated by Zheng Ji in three sets. She entered the doubles with Serena Williams. They beat Carla Suarez Navarro and Silvia Sola Espinosa in the first round. In the second round. The duo beat the seventh-seeded team of Abigail Spears and Raquel Copps jones and defeated the eleventh-seeded team of Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova and Lucy Safarova in the third round. In the quarterfinals, they defeated the first-seeded team of Sarah Arani and Roberta Vinci in a rematch of the Australian Open quarterfinals. Their run ended in the semi-finals against the fifth-seeded team and eventual champions Lucy Radeka and Andrea Lavakova. Her next tournament was the Torre Pan Pacific Open. She defeated Mona Barthel in the first round and upset the first-seeded and no. Two ranked Victoria Azarenka in the second round. In the third round. She came back from a set down to beat the 13th seed Simona Halep in three sets to make it to the quarterfinals of the Premier 5 event. In the quarterfinals she defeated Canadian Eugenie Bouchard in three sets, but fell in the semi-finals to Petra Kvitova in another three-set match. Williams subsequently played at the 2013 China Open in Beijing where she played singles and doubles. Williams lost her second round match in singles losing to Sabine Lizicki and she also lost her first round match in doubles despite having two match points. Williams's last tournament of the season was the 2013 Kremlin Cup in Moscow. But she withdrew due to injury. Bringing an end to her 2013 season. 2014-17 Resurgence and first Grand Slam finals since 2009. 2014. Ending title drought. Williams started her official tennis season as no. 
47 at the 2014 ASB Classic in Auckland, where she finished runner-up to Anna Ivanovic. She next participated, unseeded, at the 2014 Australian Open where she lost in the first round to No. 23 Ekaterina Makarova in three sets. Moving on to Doha, Williams lost to No. 6 Petra Kvitova in the second round at the 2014 Qatar Total Open after failing to put away match. Point in the third set tie break. Williams then entered the Dubai Tennis Championships where she defeated five top 40 players to win her biggest title since the Matua Madrid Open in 2010 and at 33 years and eight months of age became the seventh oldest woman to win a WTA singles title. En route, she avenged her loss to Anna Ivanovic in Auckland 6-2. 6-1 and her sister Serena's loss to Alizé Cornet in the semi-finals. Then won the title match the 6-3. 6-0. Keeping her head-to-head -head record perfect against Caroline Wozniacki. Williams then competed in Miami at the 2014 Sony Open Tennis and in Charleston at the 2014 Family. Circle Cup where she lost to Dominika Sabulkova on hard and Eugenie Bouchard on clay. Respectively, both in the round of 16 and both in three sets. At the 2014 Internazionale BNL d'Italia, Williams failed to force three sets in a loss for the first time that year. Falling 4-6. 2-6 to Carla Suarez Navarro. At the 2014 French Open, Williams was upset by no. 56 Anna Karolina Schmidlova in three sets. Williams then lost in the third round of the 2014 Wimbledon Championships. 7-5. 6-7. 5-7 eventual champion Petra Kvitova in a classic and much praised encounter that saw 34 holds of serve and only two breaks. Williams was the only player to take a set against Kvitova in the tournament. Williams played her first tournament of the 2014 US Open Series at the 2014 Bank of the West Classic, where she is a two-time former champion. In the second round, she scored her first top 10 victory of the year and improved her head-to-head -head record against Victoria Azarenka to 4-0. In the quarterfinals, Williams lost to no. 18 Andrea Petkovic in three sets. At the 2014 Rogers Cup, Williams defeated no. 24 Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova in three sets. Scoring her first victory at that tournament on her fifth attempt. She defeated no. 7 Angelique Kerber in the third round in a three-set thriller described by one of the commentators as quite simply one of the matches of the 2014 season so far on the WTA. Williams produced yet another upset in three sets against Carla Suarez Navarro to advance to the semi-finals, where she defeated younger sister and no won Serena Williams in the pair's 25th meeting. It was her 14th victory over a reigning no. One and her first since the 2009 Wimbledon Championships. When she defeated Dinara Safina 6-1. 6-0 in the semi-finals. It was also the first time since 2009 that Williams had beaten her younger sister Serena. She lost the championship match 4-6. 2-6 to no. 5. Agnieszka Radvanska. At her final tournament before the 2014 US Open, Williams lost in a tight three-setter to no. 17. Lucy Safarova in the first round at the 2014 Western and Southern Open. At the U.S. Open Williams made it to the third round for the first time since 2010 and was two points away. Multiple times. 
from moving into the round of 16 before ultimately going down to 13th seeded Sarah Arani for the first time in four meetings. Williams's next tournament was at the 2014 Coupe Banque Nationale in Quebec, where she received a wild card as the no. 1 seed. She advanced to the quarterfinals in straight set first and second round victories and was set to play Czech player Lucy Radica. She defeated Radica in a two hour, 13 minute match, winning 6 3. 4 to 6 7 to 6 3 in the semi-final Williams beat fellow country women Shelby Rogers in straight sets to progress to her fourth final of the year where she lost to a resurgent Merjana Lucic Baroni in straight sets Williams then played at the 2014 Wuhan Open where she lost in the first round to Caroline Garcia despite having held a match point. Her final tournament of the year was at the 2014 China Open, where she won her first two matches before withdrawing before the third round. Williams ended the year ranked no. 19 in singles. The first finish since 2010 inside the top 20. Williams joined the Bangalore Raptors team in 2014 for the first edition of Champions Tennis League. India. 2015. Improvement at the Grand Slams and re-entering the top 10. Williams started off her season at the 2015 ASB Classic. Where she won her 46th career singles title by defeating Caroline Wozniacki in three sets in the final. Then, at the Australian Open, Williams made it to the quarterfinals at a Grand Slam for the first time since the 2010 US Open. She defeated Camila Giorgi in the third round having to recover from 4-6, 2-4 and 0-40 down to reach the second week of a Grand Slam tournament for the first time since the 2011 Wimbledon Championships and then overturned a three-match losing streak to Agnieszka Radvanska before losing to Madison Keys after being up a break in the deciding set. Williams had her 16-match winning streak at the Dubai Tennis Championships ended by Lucy Safarova. In the third round, her next tournament was at the Qatar Total Open where she saved a match point in a heated encounter versus Barbora Zalavova Stritseva in the second round before defeating Agnieszka Radvanska for a second time in 2015 to advance to the semi-finals. She ended up losing in three sets to Victoria Azarenka. Williams competed at the Miami Open, where she won against Samantha Stosa in the third round and Caroline Wozniacki in the fourth round scoring her fourth top 10 win of the season and improving her head-to-head -head record against Wozniacki to a perfect 7-0. In the quarterfinals, she was defeated by Carla Suarez Navarro in three sets. Williams began her clay court season at the Madrid Open where she lost in the first round to Victoria Azarenka in straight sets. She made it to the third round of the Italian Open before losing to Simona Halep. Williams failed to win her opening match at the 2015 French Open, where she lost in straight sets to American Sloane Stevens. She did not attend her mandatory post-match press conference and was subsequently fined $3,000. Williams then played at Wimbledon winning her first three rounds in straight sets. She then lost to her sister, Serena, in the fourth round in straight sets. 4-6, 3-6. Williams then played at the Istanbul Cup where she lost in the first round to qualifier Katerina Bondarenko. Williams began her U.S. Open series at the Rogers Cup, where she was a finalist last year. She lost in the first round, 6-0, 6-3 to Sabine Lizicki. Her loss pushed her outside of the top 20. 
Her next tournament was at the Western and Southern Open in Cincinnati. She made it to the second round and was set to play Anna Ivanovich before she withdrew due to a virus. She was seeded 23rd for the U.S. Open and played Monica Puig in the first round. She led 6-4, 5-3 and held three match points, but lost the second set. She won the match 6-4, 6-7, 7-9, 6-3. -7, in the second round, she overcame two costly double faults in the second set to defeat fellow American Irina Falconi 6-3, 6-7, 2-7. 6-2. She defeated 12th seed Belinda Bencic and qualifier Anat Kontaveit in straight sets in the third and fourth rounds, respectively. Williams played her sister, Serena Williams, in the quarterfinals in their fifth meeting at the U.S. Open and the 27th meeting overall. Williams lost the match in three sets. 2-6. 6-1. 3-6. Williams scored her fifth top 10 win of the season by defeating No. 7 Agnieszka Radvanska in the first round of the Wuhan Open. She then beat qualifier Julia Gorges in the second round for her 700th career win. Becoming only the ninth woman in the Open era to achieve this feat. She landed another top 10 victory by winning against No. 10 Carla Suarez Navarro in the third round. Williams defeated both Johanna Conta and Roberta Vinci. Saving match point. In three sets to move into the championship match where she won her biggest title in more than five years when her opponent. No. 8 Garbinier Muguruza. Retired while trailing a set and a double break. The next week Williams lost to Anna Ivanovich in the second round of the China Open. She made it to the semi-finals of the Hong Kong Open where she lost in a tight two-setter to eventual champion Yelena Yankovic. With her results throughout the season, Williams became an alternate for the WTA finals in Singapore. Additionally, she qualified for the WTA Elite Trophy in Zhuhai, where she is the number one seed. She defeated Madison Keys in her first round robin match in three sets. 3-6. 7-6. 7 7-5. 6-1. In her second round robin match she defeated wildcard Zheng Seisai 4-6. 6-1. 6-1 to, to advance to the semi-finals, where she defeated Roberta Vinci for a fifth consecutive time. Williams captured the first WTA Elite Trophy, her third WTA title of the season and 48th title of her career by defeating Karolina Pliskova. 7-5, 7-6, 8-6. In the final, she re-entered the top 10 for the first time since 2011 and ended the year at no. 7 in the WTA rankings. Williams was the 10th most popular player of the year according to the WTA's website and received the WTA Comeback Player of the Year Award. 2016. Wimbledon Semi-Final. Highest ranking since 2011 and record Olympic medal tally. Williams began 2016 by playing at the World Tennis Thailand Championship, an exhibition event in Thailand, where she lost to Sarah Arani and Angelique Kerber. She then entered the ASB Classic, where she was the no. One seed and defending champion and lost in the first round to 18-year-old Daria Kasatkina. This was also Williams's first tournament since the 2011 Australian Open as a top-10 player. At the Australian Open, Williams, seeded 8th, lost to Johanna Conta in the first round. Afterwards, she helped the USA Fed Cup team to a 4-0 victory over Poland winning both of her singles matches. 
Williams's next tournament was at the Taiwan Open, where she was the no. 1 seed. She defeated Masaki Doi in the final, earning her 49th career title. Williams returned to Indian Wells for the first time in 15 years after boycotting the tournament in 2001, but lost in the second round to Karumi Nara. The following week, she was knocked out in the second round of the Miami Open by qualifier Elena Vesnina. Both results marked her worst exits at Indian Wells and Miami in her 23-year career. She began the clay court season with a win over Alison Risk at the Charleston Open, before losing to Yulia Putintseva in the third round in three tight sets. Williams was scheduled to begin her clay court season at the Madrid Open but withdrew due to a hamstring injury. The following week, she lost in the second round in Rome, seeded ninth at the French Open. Williams won her first two rounds in straight sets to set up a third-round clash with Alizé Cornet, whom she defeated in three sets to reach the fourth round for the first time since 2010. She recorded the 200th loss of her career against eight-seeded Timia Baczynski, who won in straight sets. However, her result pushed her back into the top 10 for the first time since her loss at the Australian Open. She also won her first Grand Slam doubles match with sister Serena Williams since the 2014 US Open. At the Wimbledon Championships, Williams reached the third round of the championships where she overcame the 29th seed, Daria Kasatkina, in a two-hour, 42-minute marathon. She defeated 12th seed Carla Suarez Navarro in the fourth round, and now leads 4-3 in their head-to-head -head meetings. Williams advanced to the quarterfinals for the first time in six years, where she defeated Yaroslava Shvedova in her first Grand Slam semi-final since the 2010 US Open and her first Wimbledon semi-final since 2009. She lost to fourth seed Angelique Kerber in straight sets. In the doubles tournament, Venus and Serena Williams advanced to their first Grand Slam doubles final since 2012. They then won their 14th major title together and sixth at Wimbledon. Williams began her U.S. Open series at the Stanford Classic, where she was the no. One seed. She defeated Magda Lynette in the second round and compatriots Catherine Bellis and Alison Riskin. The quarterfinals and semifinals respectively to reach her eighth final in Stanford. She lost to Johanna Conter. 5-7. 7-5. 2-6. By virtue of her result, Williams ascended to no. 6 in the rankings. Her highest position since being diagnosed with Sjogren's syndrome in 2011. Williams then entered the Rogers Cup. Having received a bye in the first round, Williams won her second round match against Barbora Stritseva in straight sets. She fell to Madison Keys in the third round in three sets. Williams failed to medal in her singles and doubles events at the 2016 Rio Summer Olympics, falling in the first round in both events, marking her worst exits of her Olympic career. She entered the mixed doubles event with Rajiv Ram, defeating the Netherlands in the first round after saving match point. The pair then defeated Italy in the quarterfinals and India in the semi-finals to set up a clash. With the United States team of Bethany Matek Sands and Jack Sock in the gold medal match. The duo lost to Matek Sands and Sock 7-6. 7-3. 1-6. 7-10. By winning a silver medal. Williams became the only female player. Besides Kathleen McCain Godfrey, to win a medal in all three events. Singles, doubles and mixed. 
Her five medals mean she now shares the record for most Olympic medals won in tennis with Godfrey. At the U.S. Open, Williams broke the record for the most Grand Slam appearances, surpassing Amy Frazier's record of 71. This is also the first time that she's been seeded in the top 10 at all four Grand Slam tournaments this year. Having last achieved this in 2010, she won her first three round matches respectively against Katerina Kozlova, Julia Gorges and the 26th seed Laura Siegemund. She lost in the fourth round to 10th seed Karolina Pliskova after failing to convert match point. In September 2016, in response to WADA database leak, Williams confirmed the usage of banned substances classified by WADA as therapeutic use exemptions. Tuesday, stating, the applications for Tuesday under the tennis anti-doping program require a strict process for approval which I have adhered to when serious medical conditions have occurred. Williams failed to defend her title in Wuhan. Falling in the third round to ninth seed Svetlana Kuznetsova. This pushed her outside of the top 10 for a second time this year. The following week she was bundled out of the China Open in the first round by no. 223 ranked Peng Shui. Williams qualified for the WTA Elite Trophy. Where she was the defending champion. However she decided not to participate. She finished the year ranked no. 17. 2017. Australian Open. Wimbledon and Tour Championships finalist. Return to the top five. Williams began her 2017 season at the ASB Classic. Winning her opening match against local wildcard Jade Lewis before withdrawing due to a right arm. Payne. Seeded 13th at the Australian Open. Williams defeated Katerina Kozlova. Qualifier Stephanie Vogeli. Duan Yingying and qualifier Mona Barthel in the opening four rounds respectively in straight sets. To advance to the quarterfinals. She defeated 24th seed Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova for her 50th win at the Australian Open. The first time Williams won a quarterfinal match in Melbourne since defeating Daniela Hintukova in 2003. Coming back from a set down in her semi-final match. Williams defeated rising American star Coco Vandeweghe 6-7. 3-7. 6-2. 6-3 to advance to her first Grand Slam final since Wimbledon 2009 and her first Australian Open final since 2003. In doing so, she set the Open era record for the longest span. 20 years. Between Grand Slam singles final appearances. Having first reached a Grand Slam singles final at the 1997 US Open. In a closely fought final, she lost 6-4. 6-4 to her younger sister Serena Williams, who made history by winning her 23rd Grand Slam singles title, surpassing the mark set by Steffi Graf. The following week, Williams competed in the St. Petersburg Ladies Trophy, but lost in the second round to eventual champion Kristina Miladinovic. At the Indian Wells Masters, Williams came back from 1-6, 1-4 down and saved three match points in the second round to defeat Yelena Yankovic, tying their head-to-head record at 7-all. This was her first win at Indian Wells since 2001. She defeated Lucy Safarova and qualifier Peng Shui in the third and fourth rounds respectively. Avenging her previous losses to both players. She lost to the eventual champion. Elena Vesnina. In the quarterfinals. The following week. Williams scored her first top 10 win since 2015. Against Svetlana Kuznetsova in the fourth round of the Miami Open. 
she defeated No. 1 Angelique Kerber in the quarterfinals, becoming the oldest player to beat a current No. 1. She lost for a third consecutive time to eventual champion Johanna Conta in straight sets in her first semi-final in Miami since 2010. This marked her fourth consecutive loss to eventual champions. The following week, after receiving a bye, Williams lost to eventual semi-finalist Laura Siegmund in the Volvo Car Open. Having saved match point in the second set, Williams forced two match points in the third set. But Siegmund saved both. After the match, Williams said, This could be the best match she'll ever play in her life. I basically won the match but still lost. Williams withdrew from the Madrid Open after an injury to her right arm. She made her European clay court debut at the Italian Open where she defeated Yaroslava Shvedova and Ligia Surenko in straight sets. She defeated No. 6 Johanna Conta in the third round, but lost in her first quarterfinal in Rome since 2012 to Garbinje Muguruza in three sets. During this match, Williams hit a reactionary lob off an attacking forehand that was voted WTA shot of the month. Williams defeated Kiang Wang. Karumi Nara and Elise Mertens in the first three rounds of the French Open before again losing to Baczynski in the fourth round. This time in three sets, Williams entered Wimbledon as the number 10 seed. She defeated Elise Mertens, Kiang Wang, Naomi Osaka and Anna Konja to reach the quarterfinals for the 13th time in her career where she defeated the 2017 French Open champion Yelena Ostapenko in straight sets. This was also her 100th career match at Wimbledon. She advanced to her ninth Wimbledon final by defeating Johanna Conta in straight sets in the semi-finals. This marked her 87th win at Wimbledon. The third most on the all-time list this also marked the first season since 2003 that Williams reached two slam finals. Williams lost the final in straight sets to Garbinje Muguruza. She gained the no. 9 ranking by reaching the final. Her second appearance in the top 10 in 2017. She had briefly returned to the top 10 in 2017 by virtue of beating Angelique Kerber in Miami. Williams began her play in the U.S. Open Series at the Canadian Open. She defeated qualifier Irina Camelia Begu in three sets and Katerina Sinyakova in straight sets. Before losing to fifth seed and eventual champion Alina Svitolina in the third round. The next week Williams competed in the Cincinnati Masters Tournament. She defeated Allison Risk in the first round before losing to Ashley Barty in the second round. Barty was the first person to have defeated Williams and failed to reach at least the semi-finals of the event in which they had defeated her in 2017. At the 2017 U.S. Open, Williams defeated Victoria Kuzmova. O'Kane Doden, and Maria Sakkari to reach the fourth round. Williams reached the second week of all Grand Slams in a single season for the first time since 2010, and reached the second week of seven consecutive Grand Slams, the longest streak among WTA players at that time. In the fourth round, Williams beat Carla Suarez Navarro in three sets to reach her 12th U.S. Open quarterfinal, where she defeated Petra Kvitova in a third set tiebreak during the two hour, 35 minute match. She also guaranteed her return to the top five in the WTA rankings at the conclusion of the tournament for the first time since January 2011. Williams then lost in three sets to fellow American and eventual champion Sloane Stevens in her first U.S. Open semi-final since 2010. On September 26, 
Williams qualified for the WTA finals for the first time since 2010. In her first tournament after the US Open, Williams defeated Riza Ozaki in the first round of the Hong Kong Open. Before falling to Naomi Osaka. At the WTA finals, Williams was placed in the white group with Karolina Pliskova. Garbinye Muguruza and Yelena Ostapenko. After losing her first match to Pliskova in straight sets, Williams defeated Ostapenko in a marathon match lasting almost three and a half hours. She defeated Muguruza in straight sets to progress to the semi finals, avenging her loss to the Spaniard in the Wimbledon final. Williams then defeated Caroline Garcia in three sets to advance to her first final at the year-end championships since 2009, where she finished runner-up to sister Serena Williams she met Caroline Wozniacki in the final, where she found herself down a set and 0-5. Despite winning the next four games, she lost the match 4-6. 4-6. She finished the year ranked number 5 and topped the prize money list for this year. 2018 present. Dip in rankings. Struggles. 2018 to 1000 th match. Struggle with form. Williams began her 2018 season at the Sydney International. Where she was the second seed and received a first round bye. In the second round she lost to German woman Angelique Kerber, who went on to win the tournament as the fifth seed and defending finalist at the Australian Open. Williams lost in straight sets to Belinda Bencic in the first round, ending her streak of seven consecutive appearances in the second week of the Grand Slams, and as a result dropping considerably in the rankings as well. Williams competed in the Fed Cup quarterfinals against the Netherlands. She won both her singles matches in straight sets against Arantxa Roos and Rachel Hogenkamp to send the United States into the semi-finals. She also played her career 1000th match and earned her 20th Fed Cup singles win. After receiving the first round bye at the Indian Wells Masters, Williams defeated Serana Sestia to set up a match with her sister, Serena. In the third round, she defeated her for the twelfth time in her career, her first straight sets victory against her. Since the 2008 Wimbledon Championships final almost a decade earlier, she then defeated Anastasia Sevistova in the fourth round and Carla Suarez Navarro in the quarterfinals, both in straight sets. She then fell to Daria Kasatkina in a close three-set match in the semifinals. The following week at the Miami Open, Williams saved three match points in her third-round match against Dutch woman Kiki Bertens. She subsequently knocked out defending champion Englishwoman Johanna Konta in the fourth round before falling rather unexpectedly to her compatriot and qualifier Danielle Collins in the quarterfinals. Williams began her clay court season at the Madrid Open where she lost to Anat Contevait in the first round. Seeded eighth at the Italian Open, she received a first round bye before defeating Elena Vesnina in three sets. She lost to Contevate again in the third round. Williams also played doubles with compatriot Madison Keys. But the team withdrew after winning their first round match with Keys sustaining an injury. Williams lost to Kiang Wang in the first round of the French Open. Marking the first time she has lost in the first round of consecutive Grand Slam events. Williams also reached the third round in doubles with Serena, losing to third seeds Klepak and Martinez Sanchez, the defending finalist at the Wimbledon. Williams defeated Johanna Larson and Alexandra Dulgaru in the first and second rounds respectively.
before losing to Kiki Burton's in the third round. As a result, she dropped out of the top 10 rankings. Williams began her U.S. Open series at the Silicon Valley Classic after accepting a wildcard, defeating Heather Watson in the second round, before losing in the quarterfinals to eventual finalist Maria Sakkari. She won her opening two rounds at the Rogers Cup before losing 6-2. 6-2 to the then world number one. Romanian woman Simona Halep. Hampered by a right knee injury. She withdrew from the Western and Southern Open the following week with the same injury. At the US Open. Williams defeated 2004 champion Svetlana Kuznetsova and Camila Georgi en route to a third round encounter and 30th career match overall with Serena, where she was handed her most lopsided loss against her in five years. Following the U.S. Open, Venus withdrew from the Wuhan Open and China Open, citing she was not physically ready to compete. She was scheduled to finish her season at the Luxembourg Open, but pulled out due to a knee injury. She finished the season ranked no. 40. The first time since 2013 she failed to finish the season inside the top 20. Williams parted ways with her longtime coach David Witt at the end of the 2018 season. 2019. Continued struggles. Out of top 50, Williams began her 2019 season with an exhibition match against Serena at the Mubadala World Tennis Championship, which she won 10-8 in the match tiebreak. Williams then played in the ASB Classic in Auckland, where she was seeded sixth. She defeated Victoria Azarenka and Lauren Davis before losing in the quarterfinals to Bianca Andreescu in three sets. Unseeded at the Australian Open, Williams defeated Mihaila Buzanescu and French woman Alizé Cornet, both in three sets, to set up a meeting with the top-seeded Simona Halep in the third round. Williams lost to Halep 2-6. 3-6. Ranked 36th and unseeded at the Indian Wells. Williams started with a win over Andrea Petkovic. Before coming back from a set and a double breakdown to beat the third seed Petra Kvitova in the second round. This was Williams's first top five win since the 2017 WTA finals. She then defeated Christina McHale and Mona Barthel to advance to her third straight Indian Wells quarterfinal, where she lost to the eighth seed and eventual runner-up Angelique Kerber. Ranked 43rd as she entered the Miami Open, Williams beat Delilah Jakupovic, Spanish woman Carla Suarez Navarro and Daria Kasatkina, all in straight sets before falling again to third-ranked Simona Halep in the fourth round. Williams started her clay court season as a wild card at the Italian Open. She defeated Belgian woman Elise Mertens in a third-set tiebreak, after three hours of play, to set up a second-round match with her sister Serena, due to a left knee injury. However, Serena was forced to withdraw from the match. Williams then fell to eventual runner-up Johanna Conter in the third round in straight sets. She subsequently fell to the ninth seed, Alina Svitolina, in the French Open first round, her second year in a row failing to win a match at the French Open. For the first time since 2011 and fourth time in her career, Williams played a Wimbledon warm-up event after accepting a wild card into the Nature Valley Classic. She defeated Alexandra Sasnovic in the first round to set up a meeting with Wang Qiang, which Williams also won to reach the quarterfinals, where she lost to eventual champion and new world number one Australian Ashley Barty. However, thanks to this run, Williams returned to the top 50 in the rankings. 
she also accepted a wild card to play doubles with Harriet Dart, losing in the first round in a match tiebreak. At Wimbledon, Williams, whilst unseeded, faced compatriot Coco Gauff, a 15-year-old qualifier, the youngest qualifier in the history of the event. Gauff stunned Williams in a tight two-set match. 6-4. 6-4. The loss matched 2012 as her earliest Wimbledon exit. Williams also entered the mixed doubles with Francis Tifo and they lost in the second round. Williams fell in the first round of the Silicon Valley Classic and the Rogers Cup to Bethany. Matek Sanz and Carla Suarez Navarro respectively, at the Western and Southern Open. Williams ended her four-match losing streak with a straight sets victory over compatriot Lauren Davis before defeating defending champion and fifth seed Kiki Burtons in a third set tiebreak. Williams then came back from a set down against Donna Vekic to advance to her fourth quarterfinal of 2019 where she fell to eventual champion Madison Keys. Williams next played at the U.S. Open where she lost just one game against Zheng Seasai before falling to eventual semi-finalist Alina Svitolina in the second round. Williams accepted a wild card to play the Wuhan Open, where she lost in the first round to Danielle Collins. Next. Williams defeated Barbora Stritseva in the first round of the China Open before losing to Belinda Bencic after having two match points. Williams's season ended with a first-round loss to eventual champion Rebecca Peterson at the Tianjin Open 2020. Slump in form. Three Grand Slam first-round exits. One match win. Out of top 75. Williams was scheduled to start her 2020 season at the Brisbane International but withdrew before the tournament began. She also had to withdraw from the Adelaide International. At the Australian Open, Williams was beaten by Coco Gauff in the first round. At the Mexican Open, where she was the fifth seed. Williams was beaten by qualifier Kaya Yuvan. After a four-month break due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Williams returned to competition by playing world team tennis. Her first official tournament back was the 2020 Top Seed Open, where she defeated Victoria Azarenka in the first round, then took on Sister Serena for the 31st time in the second round losing to her in a tight three-set match. Williams then fell to Diana Yastremska in the first round of the Western and Southern Open. Following the tournament, Williams dropped to no. 67 in the WTA the 31st of August 2020 rankings, at the 2020 US Open. Williams lost in straight sets against WTA no. 26 Carolina much over in the first round. Williams traveled to 2020 Italian Open. Tennis. In Rome the week after the US Open to join the rescheduled clay court swing. In the first round, she drew Azarenka for the second time in five weeks. On this occasion, Williams lost in straight sets taking their career head-to-head -head record to 6-2 in Williams's favor. At the 2020 French Open, Williams crashed out in straight sets to Anna Karolina Schmidlova. She finished the year with one match win and a 1-8 tour record. Williams's ranking fell to 78 in the world by the end of the season. 2021. Out of the top 100. Lowest ranking in 10 years. 90th Grand Slam appearance. Williams started the 2021 season at the Yarra Valley Classic. Where she defeated Arantxa Roos in straight sets before losing in straight sets to number 4 seed. Petra Kvitova. She also reached the second round of the 2021 Australian Open. 
Since then Williams was on a five-match losing streak and dropped out of the top 100 in May. Before the 2021 French Open. To her lowest ranking since 2011. At the French Open. She lost in the first round to 32nd seed Ekaterina Alexandrova. She received a wildcard for the main draw of the 2021 Wimbledon Championships but she was later. Upgraded to the main draw as direct entry due to Naomi Osaka's withdrawal. She won her first round match against Mihaila Buzanescu. This was Venus Williams's record-breaking 90th Grand Slam appearance and also her 90th match win at Wimbledon. Rivalries. Venus vs. Serena Williams. Williams has played younger sister Serena in 31 professional matches since 1998. Overall, Venus has won 12 of those matches and Serena Williams has won 19. They have met in 15 Grand Slam tournaments. With Venus Williams winning 5 matches to her sister Serena's 10. They have met in 9 Grand Slam tournament finals. With Venus winning twice. Of the six occasions where they met in an earlier round, the victor has gone on to win the championship four times. Venus once. In the 2000 Wimbledon Championships. Beginning with the 2002 French Open. They played each other in four consecutive Grand Slam singles finals. The first time in the Open era that the same two players contested four consecutive major finals. Williams vs. Hingis. Williams and Hingis met 21 times during their careers. The overall head-to-head -head series is 11-10 in Hingis' favor. Their rivalry is one of the best in women's sports and has been called a rivalry for the ages. They met in the 1997 U.S. Open final during Williams's debut. Hingis won the match in straight sets. Williams vs. Davenport. Davenport leads the rivalry 14-13 in their 27 professional matches. Williams leads 3-0 in Grand Slam finals. The most noteworthy match they played was the 2005 Wimbledon Championships which broke the record. For the longest Wimbledon women's final, Williams won the match and also saved a match point which makes her only the second woman in the Open era to save a match point and go on to win a major final fight for equal prize money. Despite years of protesting by tennis pioneer Billie Jean King and others, in 2005 the French Open and Wimbledon still refused to pay women's and men's players equally. Through all rounds, in 2005, Williams met with officials from both tournaments, arguing that female tennis players should be paid as much as male tennis players. Although WTA Tour president Larry Scott commented that she left a very meaningful impression, Williams's demands were rejected. The turning point was an essay published in The Times on the eve of Wimbledon in 2006. In it, Williams accused Wimbledon of being on the wrong side of history. In response, British Prime Minister Tony Blair and members of Parliament publicly endorsed Williams's arguments. Later that year, the Women's Tennis Association and UNESCO teamed for a campaign to promote gender equality in sports, asking Williams to lead the campaign under enormous pressure. Wimbledon announced in February 2007 that it would award equal prize money to all competitors in all rounds, and the French Open followed suit a day later. In the aftermath, the Chicago Sun-Times cited Williams as the single factor that changed the minds of the boys, and a leader whose willingness to take a public stand separates her not only from most of her female peers, but also from our most celebrated male athletes. Williams herself commented, 
Somewhere in the world the little girl is dreaming of holding a giant trophy in her hands and being viewed as an equal to boys who have similar dreams. Williams herself became the first woman to benefit from the equalization of prize money at Wimbledon. As she won the 2007 tournament and was awarded the same amount as the male winner Roger Federer. Williams's fight for equality was documented in 9 for IX. Venus vs. It premiered on July 2, 2013. Other on-court activities. 1998. Carsten Brasher vs. The Williams Sisters. Williams. Along with her sister Serena. Competed in a. Battle of the Sexes, against Carsten Brasher at the 1998 Australian Open. Brasher, the world's 203rd ranked player, was more than 13 years older than the sisters and was described by a journalist as, a man whose training regime centered around a pack of cigarettes and more than a couple bottles of ice-cold lager. However, he defeated both sisters in a single set against each, beating Serena 6-1 and Venus 6-2. After the sets, Brasher said, 500 and above. No chance. He added that he had played as if ranked 600th in order to keep the game, fun. Personal life. In 2003. Yatunde Price. Venus and Serena Williams's 31-year-old sister, as well as their personal assistant, was shot dead in Compton, California near the courts on which the sisters once practiced. The Williams family issued this statement shortly after the death. We are extremely shocked, saddened and devastated by the shooting death of our beloved Yatunde. She was our nucleus and our rock. She was a personal assistant, confidant, and advisor to her sisters. And her death leaves a void that can never be filled. Our grief is overwhelming. And this is the saddest day of our lives. On December 13, 2007, Venus Williams received her associate degree in fashion design from the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale. In 2011, Williams was forced to withdraw from the U.S. Open before her second round match following a Sjogren syndrome diagnosis. After the diagnosis, she adopted a vegan diet and reduced her intake of calories and sugars to return to fitness. In 2015, Williams received a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration from Indiana University. East she began her studies toward the degree in 2011 through a reciprocal agreement between the university and the Women's Tennis Association that allows athletes to play tennis professionally. While studying online, Williams has expressed her desire to earn an MBA in the near future. Williams was raised as a Jehovah's Witness. Relationships. Williams has dated golfer Hank Keener, who was a visible presence from the time of Wimbledon 2007 until 2010. In 2012, she met Cuban model Elio Pies when he was hired as an underwear model for her clothing line. They dated until 2015. She dated publishing Air Nicholas Hammond for two years until 2019. 2017 car crash. On June 9, 2017, Williams was driving in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida when another car collided with her SUV before she cleared the intersection. A crash that killed a 78-year-old man and injured another person in the second vehicle. Police originally said that Williams was, at fault, for the crash. But on December 21, 2017. Authorities determined the crash was caused by an unidentified third driver. Business Ventures. Williams is the chief executive officer of her interior design firm V-Star Interiors. Located in Jupiter, Florida. 
Her company designed the set of the Teus Smiley Show on the public broadcasting service. The Olympic Athletes Apartments is part of New York City's failed bid to host the 2012 Summer Olympics and residences and businesses in the Palm Beach, Florida area. In 2001, Williams was named among the 30 most powerful women in America by the Ladies' Home Journal. In 2007, Williams teamed with retailer Steve and Barry's to launch her own fashion line. 11. I love fashion and the idea that I am using my design education to actually create clothing and footwear that I will wear on and off the tennis court is a dream come true for me. Williams's line debuted during the 2012 New York Fashion Week. It was modeled by athletes rather than models. As Williams chose to feature the type of people for whom the line was designed. She also wears outfits from her fashion line on the tennis court. In June 2009, Williams was named 77th in the top 100 most powerful celebrities list compiled by Forbes magazine. In August 2009, Williams and her sister Serena became minority owners of the Miami Dolphins. This made the sisters the first African American women to obtain ownership in an NFL franchise. In late June 2010, Williams released her first book, Come to Win, on how sports can help you top your profession, which she co wrote with Kelly E. Carter. To promote the book, she embarked on a nationwide tour and appeared on several talk shows including The Early Show and Good Morning America. The book reached the top five on the New York Times bestseller list. Recognition. In 2005, Tennis Magazine ranked Williams as the 25th best player of the past 40 years. In June 2011, she was named one of the 30 legends of women's tennis. Past, present and future, by time. In March 2012, Tennis Channel aired a television series listing the 100 greatest players of all time, ranking Williams 22nd. In this series, Lindsay Davenport says, Venus had more power than any other player on tour. In 2018, Tennis Magazine ranked Williams as the eighth best female player of the Open era. In May 2020, both the Tennis Channel and Newsday ranked Williams as the eighth greatest female player of all time. Equipment. Coach. Richard Williams. Aurisine Price. Racket. Wilson Blade 104. Clothing. 11. Shoes. Nike in 1995. When Williams was 14 years old. She signed an endorsement deal with Reebok and wore the company's apparel and shoes. She used a Wilson Hammer 6.2 stretch racket. Career statistics. Grand Slam tournament performance timeline. Current through the 2021 Wimbledon Championships. Grand Slam tournament finals. Singles. 16. 7 titles. 9 runner-ups. Doubles. 14. 14 to 0. Mixed doubles. 3. 2 titles. 1 runner up. World Team Tennis. Williams has played 14 seasons of World Team Tennis. Making her debut in 2000 with the St. Louis Aces. Playing a season with the Delaware Smash in 2005. Three seasons with the Philadelphia Freedoms from 2006 to 2008. And eight seasons with the Washington Castles in 2010 to 2015. 2017 to 2019. She has five King Trophies. Claiming her first with the Freedoms in 2006 and four trophies with the Castles in 2011. 2012. 2014 and 2015. She was also named the 2012 WTT final MVP for her efforts.
It was announced she will be joining the Washington Castles during the 2020 WTT season set to begin July 12 at the Greenbrier. Records and achievements. At the 2021 Wimbledon Championships, Williams extended her record as the all-time leader, male or female, in Grand Slams played, with 90, with her run to the 2017 Wimbledon singles final. She claimed the record for the longest time between the player's first and most recent major singles. Finals appearances. Williams has won four Olympic gold medals, one in singles and three in women's doubles with her sister, and one silver in mixed doubles, tying her with Kathleen McCain Godfrey for the most Olympic medals won by a tennis player in history. At the 2000 Sydney Olympics, Williams became only the second player to win Olympic gold medals in both singles and doubles at one Olympic Games. After Helen Wills Moody at the 1924 Summer Olympics, she was followed by her sister in 2012. After winning silver in mixed doubles with Rajiv Ram at the 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympics, Williams became the first tennis player to win a medal at four Olympic Games as well as the first player in the Open era to win an Olympic medal in all three events. Singles. Doubles. Mixed. She and Serena are also the only tennis players in history with four Olympic gold medals, as well as the only ones to win Olympic gold in the same event on three occasions. She along with her sister Serena are the only women in the Open era to win Olympic tennis gold in both singles and doubles. These records were attained in open era of tennis. Records in bold indicate peerless achievements. Records in italics are currently active streaks. Awards. Filmography. Venus and Serena. 2012. Documentary film that takes an inside look at lives and careers of professional tennis players. Venus and Serena Williams. King Richard. 2021. Biographical sports drama film on Venus and Serena Williams. Television. See also. References. Notes. Further reading. Edmondson. Jacqueline. 2005. Venus and Serena Williams. A Biography. Greenwood Publishing Group. ISBN 978-0-313. 331657. Williams. Venus. Williams. Serena. Beard. Hillary. 2005. Venus and Serena. Serving from the hip. 10 rules for living. Loving and winning. Horton Mifflin Harcourt. 133 pp. ISBN 978-0-618. 576531. External links. Official website. Venus Williams at the Women's Tennis Association. Venus Williams at the International Tennis Federation. Venus Williams at the Billie Jean King Cup.